feel so close, but still so far. The first thing that I ever wrote for someone else, it wasn't even a song. It was actually a poem. I used to sit in class and write poems, uh, you know, beneath the stars. And then it would be some romantic poem about what it would be like with me and this girl beneath the stars at some point like that. And I draw a little picture on the bottom of it. You know, I like to do the whole thing, get the whole visual. But one day, um, you know, some guy was looking over my shoulder in class. I remember who it was. And he was like, man, you're pretty good. And uh, he started telling me, man, look at this dude, look at, you know. And they started discussing how they could get girls. Uh, if they could write poems, poems like that, they could get girls anyway. But it was just, you know, man, if I could write like that, man, I could get all the girls or whatever. So they asked me to write, you know, some poems for them. And I was like, yeah, you know, a dollar. So that's what I did. I wrote poems for a dollar for anybody that wanted me to write poems. I couldn't put my name on it, of course, because, you know, that wouldn't help them much. And, um... Uh, I was a school, you know, ghostwriter. <laughs> so that was the first. That was the first time around. Uh, the second thing that I ever wrote for someone was in a high school talent show. Uh, we had a group. One of my best friends who was in the group, Trace. You know, may rest in peace. Uh, he was a dancer. That's what he did. He was a choreographer. And he came up with all our dances and stuff. But we were like, man, we need a third verse. We need somebody else to rap. So, you know, and he wanted to do it. So he tried to write his verse for a while, and he was like, man, I can't write you, so I get frustrated, you know, man, I can't write this verse, man, I need you to write me a verse. So I wrote his verse, and I remember the talent show, we had a whole segment, we, we set it up to where it was like, uh, we did our normal point, dance routine, and this person rap, and this person rap, and this person, and then after that, everybody kind of just vacated the stage, and just one light, you know, shining down on him, because nobody knew he could rap, and he just went out there, and he just flew solo and performed. Now, he was a performer, man, at heart. You know, and he did his verse, and you know, he, he got the crowd, and he, he killed it on that part. And um, that was the second thing that I ever wrote for somebody. Now, my third go around, when I finally decided that I wanted to really get into this songwriting thing, and that's what I wanted to do, because uh, the first two times were just, that's just what it was. Um, but this go around, I graduated high school and I went to school in Houston, uh, the Art Institute of Houston, where I met a real cool guy named Gary Boast. And we became songwriting partners. He wrote and I wrote. We didn't have any way to produce the stuff because we weren't musicians, but we were really good at lyrics and really good at writing, so we did that. Uh, by that time, I had developed uh, a little more into melodies. He was really good at lyrics and, and melodies too, so um, it was a, a music business. Uh, industry course that's what it was all about so you had people from all aspects of the industry uh, I was going to be a producer myself but then I got you know, to songwriting and there were producers there there were artists there there were managers there were musicians you know the whole thing so we formed our little entity label type of thing that was the first time I had ever done something like that and it was real real um, powerful for me to see everybody coming together with their respective talents for this and me and Gary's thing was um, we were going to be the songwriters for all of the artists on the label, and you know that was that was it. We also wrote um, bios and things like that because we had an intern doing that. Also, we had an intern in Houston. I forgot what it's called, but we wrote bios for local talent acts to put in their little packages and press kits and things like that. Artists and magicians and all kind of crazy stuff. That was our internship. Um, but for the for the label we were trying to build, that was it. And that was the first time where I felt like songwriting, that's what I wanted to do. 